Could I mic you too? Platform oh for God. retail Exclusive traders, access. similar thing. Nine out of 10 day traders do not su succeed at this. So um, I know you, you're you famous for all the all the faces you made on CNBC and online. Can we make some of those faces? Is there, is there, do you ever plan on retiring? The New York Stock Exchange has been closed to the public since 9-11. So in order to gain access, you must have an invitation from a member of the exchange. And during my tour inside the New York Stock Exchange, guess who I ran into? Does this face look familiar? Trader here for 137 years. <laughs> yes, he's that guy with the devastating good looks that you see on CNBC whenever the stock market crashes. His name is Peter Tuckman aka the most photographed trader on Wall Street. Not only did Peter give me his number, he also agreed to do a quick interview with me so I can share it with all of you. You guys and girls flooded my comment section asking for this interview. So here we are with the Einstein of Wall Street. And make sure you smash the like button. It really gives me the strength and motivation to make more exciting content like this for you guys in the future. I asked Peter Tuckman, what are the three golden tips for aspiring traders and investors in the stock market right now? Hi everyone, we're here with Peter Tuckman. This man needs no introduction. <laughs> Hi Peter, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, great, thank you for having me. I am, I'm Peter Tuckman, I do need an introduction. I'm known as the Einstein of Wall Street. We're here in front of the New York Stock Exchange, greatest financial institution in the world. I've been a trader here for 137 years. <laughs> I went to high school with Alexander Hamilton, so I can share my experience with you. They're rare. It's rare to find someone with more experience than me. What is your, do you have a favorite stock? What, are you allowed to pick a favorite? You know what? No, I'm not a, let's have a good disclaimer. I'm okay. not a stock picker. Mm -hmm. I am not a financial advisor. What I do is I'm a trader on the floor. I've been doing this for 37 years. And um, what I do is I, well, my active trading account, I trade for hedge funds and individual uh, uh, portfolio, uh, like prop traders all over the country. I have about three customers. My career has spanned all different things. I did convertible arbitrage. I've done institutional trading. I don't trade for myself. We on the floor are not really allowed to do that. Uh, you know, I trade about 348 of the S&P stocks that are listed here in the NYSE every day. So it's sort of a conflict of interest for me to be involved trading for my own account and my customers. So I do a good enough business. I'm more of what I call a forensic analyst of the market. I try and share through my experience, having seen as many movies here since 1987 as one can see, and I have to admit, I've never seen this movie before, what we're going on right now. Um, so I try and, un try and understand and explain why the market's doing what it's doing on a daily basis. I do everyday recaps on why the market did what it did today. I can explain to you what happened here this morning. I'm here, I'm trading on the, uh, on the floor every day, so I think this is the greatest trading market in the world, even though we don't have 10,000 people here as we did back in the day, we still have a good solid uh, handle on what's going on in the market, the only market with the human element, right? And I think in a market that goes up and down a thousand points on any given day, we could be bearish at 11, bullish in the afternoon, we could be in a death cross at 12, we could be in a recession tomorrow. Oh I mean, God. these terms are irrelevant, you know, in my opinion, in a market doing what's doing. So it's really important to understand what price action is going on in the marketplace on a day-to-day -day basis, especially for the new retail trader. Yeah, price action above all. Uh, what was it like for you during the whole 2021, you know, the Wall Street bets movement here? What was it like on the floor? Peter also graciously offered to appear in even more Humble Trader videos in the future. So if you guys want to do a Q&A video where you get to submit your questions for the Einstein of Wall Street, make sure to comment Peter down below to let me know and I will make that happen for you. So look, for me, look, a lot of people have not embraced, in my position, having been a long timer here, mm -hmm. have not really embraced that community in a big way. Mm -hmm. You know, they felt that they sort of came in and they, they, uh, they uh, rode uh, yeah. rickshaw all over the, the, the floor of the stock exchange and they attacked everybody on the short side and whatnot. For me, I'm sort of a little bit different. I think outside the box. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer that they are going to be, the, they call themselves degenerates. There are 40 million new retail traders in the world. I think that's about the real number. Yeah. The degens. And, um, <laughs> and at the end of the day, it's my responsibility 
to curate and embrace this new young community because they're going to be the trading and investment community of the future, right? Yeah, they did come sure. in at a wild time, right? 2020, March 2020, everybody was sheltered in place, you know, with Robin Hood and TD Ameritrade and all the trading, the the uh, free trade trading app and it. Trade Zero, all the new trading apps that came in that were that were uh, selling their product for free. Everyone sheltered in place at home, a little bit of a stimulus check. Wall Street bets, Reddit, and whatnot. So the environment, the landscape was just right for all these new traders to come in. Mm -hmm. And look, anybody who hit a buy button on March 23rd, 2020, buy button. suddenly realized that they had diamond hands and they were they were golden. They knew exactly, what, you know, they got this idea it was a get rich quick scheme. It's not. This market, 90% of the people who started trading at that time are now have blown up their trading account. And you can be sure of that. Nine out of ten day traders do not su succeed at this. And because it's not a get rich quick scheme, it is actually markets yeah. don't just go up. We've seen that the, the hardest beginning to a year since 1937 is 2022. There are stocks that are down 60, 70, 80%, right? There is the memification of stocks. All of that, for me, it's the most exciting time to be trading the market. For me, it's the most exciting time to learn how to trade this market. Yeah. You know, if you get a job and it's boring and nothing's going on and no one's showing up for work, it's not exciting to learn it's what's not, going yeah. on. But in a market where you've got candlesticks, look, this morning the market was up half a percent at 8.15. The jobs report came in at 8.30 and it went down 1%. And now it's rallied back even more wow. than that. So when you have these intra-hour moves that are so <laughs> radical, you need to understand risk management and stop orders. You need to understand that taking a profit, there's no nobody got broke taking a profit, right? That you need sure. to literally follow the rules of day trading, which are very, very specific. You can't trade on hope and FOMO. Those are not trading strategies. So I'm here to help you guys understand why the market does what it does and try and sort of corral you and curate you into a way where you need to sort of hit singles and doubles. Mm -hmm. You know, you may be right for a dollar, but you're going to be wrong for $50, and that's dangerous. That's bad risk management. Very bad. Risk management. <laughs> so um, I know you, you're you famous for all the all the faces you made on CNBC and online. Can we make some of those faces right no, now together? Okay. No? They are natural. They only come. I can just show how excited I am to meet all of you guys and to, and to try and partner up with you guys on doing something and okay. try and educate your retail community. But the emotional reactions you see on a daily basis are pure and honest oh my and God. they happen on the spot. Oh, okay, got it, got it. What do you have to say to our 900,000 subscribers on YouTube right now? You know what, look, I'm excited. Look, if I can stand in front of 900,000 people and, you know, and share my experience and my confidence and my excitement about the greatest job on earth, I've found a job, which I don't call a job, it's something I love to do. Mm -hmm. You know, go out and find something you love to do. That's gonna get you up in the morning. Right now is the greatest time in the world to be learning about this market, trading this market, as long as you follow the rules. If I can be of assistance to all of you and motivate and inspire you to get excited about this, I've done my job. Thank you so much. My is there, is there, do you ever plan on retiring? Never. Oh Never. my God, no, no, no. Even probably after death, I'll be trading. Oh my God. <laughs> And you've been doing it for 136 years. Yeah, right? of course. <laughs> look, I, I look pretty good for that age. Yes. Right? He's, already, he's an old statue. I'm still here trading. So. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Again, if you want to see more Q&A with the Einstein of Wall Street, make sure to comment Peter down below and let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader, and I'll see you guys next time.